Elon Musk tweet. Congrats to the ex legal team. I've got a deep dive on all the speech stuff. I've got a deep dive on election fraud. I've got another deep dive on vaccines too that I just am not able to get to because we keep having news events like the shooting. Congrats to ex legal legal team for defending freedom of speech, the bedrock of democracy. Look what California wanted to do. News in lawsuit brought by X Corp, the Ninth Circuit rules that California's law requiring <laughs> get this. This is it. Now these are the defenders of democracy. The defenders of democracy want to require large, large social media companies to submit reports to the attorney general. Those are the people that say that Trump's a threat to democracy. Yeah. That, that want to have a ministry of truth and propaganda just out of Adolf Hitler's uh, Third Reich. Those are the defenders of democracy. They are Nazis because they name themselves the same way. National socialists, just like they're socialists. Reports to the AG about their content and moderation policies and practices likely, likely violates the First Amendment. You, you having to report speech to an attorney general to see if the attorney general will approve your content moderation policies and practices? <laughs> These are the defenders of democracy that tell you, people like you and me are a threat to democracy. Go to the next one for me. I had to show you this because it's hysterical. If you saw it on the pregame yesterday, it's, this is hysterical. Alexa, everyone, once it got on, everybody made videos asking Alexa about Kamala Harris. And Alexa would pontificate on and on about the wonderful attributes of Kamala Harris. Yeah. And if you said Trump, if you asked, hey, could you explain to me why I should or should not vote for Donald Trump? If you said should not, Alexa would say negative things about Donald Trump. If you said, why should I vote for Donald Trump? The Alexa would respond, I cannot, I cannot answer political questions. Yes. I, I cannot I cannot go into anything political basically, but it was something along those lines. I, you know, I cannot discuss political questions. But if you ask why should I vote for Kamala Harris, long, long diatribe about why you should vote for Kamala Harris. Even if you said why I should not vote for Kamala Harris, it would give you a long diatribe in Kamala Harris's favor. But <laughs> nothing for Trump. But don't worry, Jeff Bezos, if he, you know, I don't know if he really runs Amazon anymore, but anyway. Amazon says Alexa's differing responses voting, about voting for Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris were an error. No, no, folks. <laughs> that is how long, Aaron, would it take for somebody to program all that in? Oh, That's a long time. long time. Yeah. Hundreds of hours. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of hours for a person to code that into Alexa, and it's an error. Go, Aaron. Well, yeah, and not to mention that they specifically <laughs> made it to where when you ask about uh, preferential wording for Trump that it says no— but it they allowed preferential wording for Kamala. That was purposeful. That's not an accident. You have to do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, someone's coding that in. Yes. What do you mean? What is? What do you mean by the preferential stuff? What like do you mean? pro pro Kamala. If you were versus, asking it, to, if you were asking Alexa to tell you pro Kamala things. Yes, exactly. It's it's it allowed. It's allowed to give you pro Kamala, right. but not pro right, Donald right, Trump. Somebody yeah. coded that in. Exactly. This is not. Oops, I made a mistake and made a right on no, red. No. No, I mean, no, <laughs> no, folks. I mean, this is ours. This is such bold face. It's audacious, <laughs> bold face lying. 